A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 9, verses 18 to 22. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. One time, when Jesus was off praying by himself, his disciples nearby, he asked them, What are the crowds saying about me, about who I am? They said, John the baptizer, others say Elijah. Still others say that one of the prophets from long ago has come back. He then asked, And you? What are you saying about me? Who am I? Peter answered, The Messiah of God. Jesus then warned them to keep it quiet. They were to tell no one what Peter had said. He went on, It is necessary that the Son of Man proceed to an ordeal of suffering, be tried and found guilty by the religious leaders, high priests, and the religion scholars, be killed, and on the third day be raised up alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. I am Father Joe Scuti Matthew and this is Coffee with God. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 18 to 22. Dying with Christ Jesus had resolutely set his face towards Jerusalem, as we read in Luke, chapter 9, verses 51, where he would undergo betrayal, passion, and death on the cross. As the journey progresses, Jesus wants to make sure that those who accompany him are aware of what awaits them in Jerusalem. A large crowd was following him, but for different reasons. For healing from their illnesses, to see him perform miracles. Therefore comes the question, who do you say that I am? Peter was spot on with his answer, You are the Messiah of God. However, Peter and his companions had little understanding of the true meaning of the term Messiah. For many people, the term could take on too political a sense, seeing Jesus as a human liberator sent to deliver an oppressed people who would topple the Roman occupancy. Hence, Jesus explains to them the mission of the Messiah. Endure many sufferings, be rejected and be put to death, and then be raised up on the third day. Pope Francis emphasizes the importance of moving beyond the crowd and worldly opinions that attempt to define Jesus because being a Christian is not simply about knowing doctrines or participating in rituals, but about encountering Jesus in our hearts and lives. Peter's answer, although correct, leads Jesus to explain the cost of discipleship, suffering, rejection and death, followed by resurrection. Faith in Jesus without the cross is not authentic. To follow Jesus means to take up our own crosses. The cross is not merely an object of suffering, but a symbol of love and ultimate victory of God's mercy. Whoever walks with Jesus is called to embrace also the cross, trusting that God's plan for us is always rooted in love and that our sufferings, united with Christ's, lead to new life.